She is known for her pin-up photos and roles in B-movies, as well as her prominent role in Orson Welles' 1958 crime drama Touch of Evil. She is recognized for her similarities to Jane Mansfield and Mamie Van Doren, frequently being cast in similar roles. Her name is Joy Lansing. In the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden era, one name stood out as a captivating beauty and talented actress, Joy Lansing. Born on April 6, 1928, in Salt Lake City, Utah, Lansing would go on to become a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. With her striking looks and hourglass figure, Lansing quickly made a name for herself as a popular pin-up model. Her sultry photos and vivacious personality caught the attention of filmmakers, leading to her first film roles in the 1950s. Although she often portrayed characters similar to her contemporaries Jane Mansfield and Mamie Van Doren, Lansing had a unique charm that set her apart. One of her most memorable moments came in Orson Welles' iconic crime drama, Touch of Evil. Lansing's role in the famous opening tracking shot captivated audiences and showcased her undeniable screen presence. While she was frequently dressed in skimpy costumes and bikinis that accentuated her figure, Lansing maintained her dignity and refused to pose nude. Despite the publicity reports claiming she practiced yoga for relaxation and was a devout Mormon, it was her talent and charisma that truly defined her career. Joy Lansing, a talented actress with undeniable presence, embarked on her film career in 1948. It wasn't long before she caught the attention of the industry, landing an uncredited role in MGM's iconic film, Singin', In the Rain, in 1952. However, her big break came the year before when she secured the role of Shirley Swanson in the popular sitcom, Love That Bob. For four years, from 1955 to 1959, Lansing portrayed the character in over 125 episodes, solidifying her place in the hearts of audiences across the nation. In 1958, Lansing made a memorable appearance in the opening sequence of Orson Welles' Touch of Evil. As Zeta, the dancer with a ticking noise in her head, she captivated viewers with her brief but impactful performance. This role showcased her versatility and drew attention to her acting abilities. Throughout the 1960s, Lansing continued to shine in a variety of roles, both in films and on the small screen. She showcased her comedic skills as an astronaut's girlfriend in the sci-fi parody, Queen of Outer Space, and earned fourth billing in the science fiction feature, The Atomic Submarine. Lansing also made a mark in the music industry, starring in short musical films for the Scopitone video jukebox system, mesmerizing audiences with her songs like, The Web of Love, and The Silencer. In 1964, Lansing was offered an exciting film project titled Project 22, with plans to shoot in Yugoslavia. The film was set to feature notable actors George Hamilton and Geraldine Chaplin. Unfortunately, the project never came to fruition, leaving Lansing and her fans eagerly awaiting another opportunity to see her on the big screen. Not one to shy away from working with legends, Lansing appeared alongside Frank Sinatra, Deborah Kerr, and Dean Martin in the romantic comedy Marriage on the Rocks. This was not her first collaboration with Sinatra, having previously worked together in the drama A Hole in the Head. Lansing also had the opportunity to showcase her comedic skills opposite Martin in the comedy Who Was That Lady? Despite being offered the chance to replace Jane Mansfield in The Ice House, Lansing made a bold choice by accepting the role in Hillbillies in a Haunted House. Taking over for Mamie Van Doren, she shared the screen with acting greats Basil Rathbone and John Carradine. Lansing's final film was Bigfoot, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. Joy Lansing's career was marked by versatility, whether it be through her comedic timing, her dramatic appearances, or her enchanting musical performances. She was a captivating talent who left an indelible mark on the film industry, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.